Alright, hey, welcome back to Rain Plays uh, Miku Visual Novel. Um, this is part two, and uh, we're picking up right where we left off. So, you are slowly waking up. You finally woke up, Master. He, As always, Miku is the first one to wake up. You should get used to it. By the way, I feel it's appropriate to play this right now because I woke up not too long ago. And you could probably hear it in my voice. And from the fact that I'm yawning. <sighs> you asked Miku how she slept. It was hard at first, though. It was a dream about what happened yesterday. And so I didn't want to wake up. But now when I see you, I know this is real. This is happening, and I couldn't be happier. You told Miku you were happy, that she accepted the role of being your girlfriend. And I'm happy you asked me, Master. She looks so cute when she smiles, and she smiles just for you, so, which makes you feel so good. You then take Miku's cheek. I'm guessing it means you pinch Miku's cheek. But Master, you slowly move closer to her, aiming for a kiss. Oh, never mind. I thought it was like, oh, you're so cute. She closes her eyes and is r reading. I'm guessing it's readying her lips. And then your lips meet yet again. Smoochy sounds. You and me could do it naturally now without much thinking. Smoochy face. You two don't feel time while kissing. Suddenly, you, you finish, you two realize that you've been kissing for, like, several minutes like this. Master, we should get up. We can't be kissing all day, can we? You told Miku she's right. All right, let's get up. You two woke up and changed into your clothes, preparing for your first official date. You asked Miku if she's ready. Yes, Master, I'm ready to go. You ask Miku if she is excited. Yes, Master, I'm looking forward to today's date. You two head outside. It's a beautiful day. Kind of reminds you of the first day where you met Miku. You are very glad she came into this world. You two head to the city. Master, come on, hurry. Faint. Are you all right, Master? You look funny. You told Miku she was going too fast. Well, you are very slow, Master. Oh, I know a solution. Then take your hand. Master, you are my boyfriend now, so now we can hold hands like a couple. You ask me who she wants to walk through the city. Of course, Master. You and me could begin your tour. It feels great to have a girlfriend. And holding her hand, you two ended on a clothes store. Master, those clothes look so cute. I like that white dress very much. It seems Miku got a glance of a wedding dress. You told Miku that the dress is for a special occasion. Really? What kind of occasion? How can you explain her, uh, this to her? Since now you two are a couple, the natural next step would be marriage. You know you can't love anyone besides her, and she loves only you, so... Master? Someday you will have to strengthen your relationship to take it to the next level. Master. But you are not ready yet. He is goofing off again, huh? I know how to bring him to reality. Smoochy face. Out of nowhere, Miku surprised you with a kiss. Smoochy face. You are still startled by Miku's actions. Master. Da 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 da. Jeez, Master, you are goofing off again. You better not do it again. You told Miku you apologize. That's better, Master. Remember that if you do it again, I will have to kiss you. Isn't that more motivation? Yeah, exactly. You fake a goof. Master. You decided to hear her. You haven't told me for what occasion that dress is. 
You told her you will buy it for her when that occasion comes. I wonder how much I will have to wa- Wait. It doesn't matter. I have patience. Seems to have changed recently. You told her that. Well, since now you are my boyfriend, I don't have to be shy anymore. Before I was shy because I thought you didn't love me and I had to hold back. But now I know whatever happens, we will still love each other. So you better get accustomed to the new and improved Miku. Hee <laughs> hee. It seems she is quite serious about this. You better be careful. Master, what are we going to do now? You told Miku that she can choose the next date spot. Great idea, Master. I was thinking in of going to eat first, then. Go to see a movie. You told Miku that was a good idea. Thanks, Master. Let's go. You told Miku to go... to... not to walk so fast. As expected, you are slow, Master. Don't worry. I have a solution. Miku takes you f by your arm. Blushing. Okay, Master. Lead the way. You two eat like a couple. You feed each other and enjoy the meal a lot. Master, open wide. You can barely eat more. Hee <laughs> hee, Master. Eat your vegetables. The lunch continues. You two go out. I'm so full, Master, and you? Nod. What were we going to do now? You pat her on the head and call her forgetful. Master, please don't tease me. You stopped and told her you were going to see a movie. Yes. You two headed to the nearest theater. So this is a theater. I want to see a romantic movie. You told Miku those movies are boring. Oh, come on, Master. You know that romantic movies are perfect for couples. She seems to have a point. Besides, she is the one who will be watching the screen. You nod. Okay, Master, let's go. When you head to the theater, Miku seems sees something. Huh? What? Apparently, there is going to be a movie based on Miku. I don't remember that you had taken me to a photo singing, Master. Hmm. It says, experience the first ever movie based on popular virtual idol Hatsune Miku. Miku is based on the million-selling Vocaloid song program. Gasp. What is this, Master? What does this mean? You don't know how to explain to her. It seems she found out that she is not unique. Finding out that you are, aren't unique should be hard. In this case, you don't know how to explain to her. You notice people gathering. Average Joe. Hey, that girl is exactly like Miku. Yeah, could it be marketing strategy? Yeah, it looks very real. Yo, Miku, your movie seems like a hit. What are you doing? Well, she is acting like Miku. I should at least do my part. Yes, hey, you Miku. Long time no see. Sorry, I don't know you, but I would like to know where we met. You sure are playing the role, aren't you? Okay, I will follow. Yo, we made a song just yesterday. Are you that forgetful? What do you mean? I have never met you before. Okay, you are grinding my gear here. If you don't do something, this could turn bad. You told Miku it was time to go. Wait, Master, I don't want to talk with this... Wait, I want to talk with this person. Master, oh, I see you're acting like this person is your owner. It makes sense, besides my Vocaloid avatar. It would be Kaito anyway. Vocaloid avatar? How do you know about that? Only me and Master know of that. My Vocaloid avatar is written. Miku is too generic for me. What? How How do these people know that? Master, please tell me what is happening. You have no choice but to explain to her. You explain to her that her program is very popular and she is the official mascot. That she is a program available to anyone. In short, she is part of a worldwide selling product. All of the silence. You s expected her to go wild about finding it, finding out. Sorry, Master, I want to be alone now. I will go home, but please don't 
outcome for now. I have to think over this, so until I have sorted out my feelings, I won't be able to see you. Forgive me, Master. As Somiku went, you thought you saw tears coming from her eyes. You want to see how Miku is doing, but you must leave her alone for now. Now that you think about it, you should have explained to her before all of this exploded. In part, you feel guilty for not doing it when you could. Now this makes you remember when you were alone before Miku. Sure, you were alone all this time until she came to your life. Now you can't think of life without her. You have nothing to do today, so you decided to go to your house and wait for Miku outside until she feels better. You reached your home. It's quite early. It's only been some hours, so you don't think Miku is ready yet. You decide to sit near the door. Miku is inside, however, you can't hear her. Until she is ready to talk to you, you will wait for her. You knocked on the door and told Miku that once she is ready, you will enter. No response from her part, but somehow you can feel her inside. You have no other choice but to wait for her. It's been some hours, but it seems she's still thinking over the issue. You wish there were some way to help her. The only thing you can do for now is stand here and wish for the best. You feel sleepy. Since you will have to wait here for her, you decided to sleep. Miku, sniff. You heard something just now. Sniff. It seems Miku is sitting behind the door, so you two are giving the back to each other. Master, you told Miku you were there. I'm sorry, Master. You can come now if you want. You asked her if she really wants to see you now. It seems she isn't ready yet. You will wait until she figures out her problems. Master, thanks. Thanks, Master, for being so nice to me, even if I don't deserve it. We asked Miku why she thinks she doesn't deserve it. I knew that I was a program and that I wasn't real, but... Sniff. She seems to be in pain. You don't want... You want nothing more than to support her, but this is the best you can do. To lend her your ear. Master, I don't truly love you. She doesn't love you? I was programmed to love music in my master just like every other program. All this time I have been deceiving myself. It seems Miku is pouring all her feelings. You wish you could embrace her. If I were bought by another person, then I would have loved that person too. I thought as a single program I was designed to develop feelings. In the end I was put feelings, so I can't really love you, master. Stiff. Well, that is true, you suppose. She is a program after all, however... She is now in this world as a human. She is not ruled by any codes anymore. She is unlike the other Mikus, is now a human being capable of thinking. You ask Miku how she feels now. You don't see, Master. I'm... I'm... You asked her how she feels about you now. She doesn't respond. Somehow, you knew she wouldn't answer right away. She has now feelings, and feelings can't be interpreted that lightly. You'll have to wait until she's sorted this out. You tell something to her to help her th think of this better. You explain to her that even though she and you met by mere coincidence, that applies to all people. People fall in love when spending time with each other. Even if she is programmed to love you, it doesn't matter because now you two have met, and if she still loves you, then it's real. If not, then you, uh, you will understand, but you love her. You told her how happy it makes you that she's in your life, and whatever she chooses, you will always love her. Master, you already said what you wanted to say. It's up to her now. You told her to think it carefully, that you will always wait. Thanks, Master. Now you must wait. The night has fallen, and Miku hasn't decided yet. Could it be she will go out of your life? You are always pessimistic, so you're already prepared for the worst-case scenario. You hear the door opening. It seems she's already made up her mind. In any case, you should better en you better enter. You find Miku sitting in your chair. She then gets up. Master, sniff. Miku seems to have been crying for a long time. Master, I'm sorry for putting you in this situation. I, I... You told her it doesn't matter as long as she has sorted out her feelings. Ah... I'm really sorry. Good God, can this get any longer? 
You asked her what she has decided. Master, it seems she hasn't figured things yet. You can't bear to see her like this. She then comes and hugs you. Master, sniff. She hugs you pretty tight. Master, I... I... You embrace her too and try to calm her down. Ugh, this is taking forever. You told her you loved her. As far as you're concerned, she's the only one. Oh my god. This is why I can't be a part of a couple. Probably. Because I'm just like... Get to the point already. <laughs> but Master, I'm not real and my feelings aren't too. You asked her how she felt about you when she was in the program. Master, when I was in the program, I loved working with you, but most of all, I loved to see you, to make you happy. But all of that was... But now you ask her how she feels about you now, now that she was human. Eh? You asked her if she loves you or not. Master... I love you, Master. Having you with me is the center of my world. Being with you is the happiest thing I could think of. If I, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here, Master. You are the reason I exist at all. But, but, you told her she is human now. She is unlike the other Mikus um, that exist. She is herself now. Myself. You explained to her that even though she was a program, now it doesn't matter. She can now think and feel. That the... That fact, the fact that she is human now makes her the world's only Miku. The only one? And you told her she is the only one for you. Master, then you take Miku's cheek. Oh, this is for another kiss thing. Miku takes your hand. Thanks, Master. Sniff. Thanks for being with me, Master. You have brought me here and took care of me. And more importantly, thanks for your love. You take Miku's hand with your hand and draw her near you. Smoochy face. Smoochy face again, but somehow this is the purest kiss you've ever had. Master, Miku, you two see each other's eyes, see each other's heart, see each other's soul. Master, I remember the first time I saw you and when we made our first song, even though your songs weren't that good, I enjoyed working with you. I realized after some time that I loved songs very much, but there was something I loved even more than songs. Can you guess what that was? You gave up. Jeez, Master, you didn't even try. You told Miku you sincerely didn't know what she could love more than music. It's you, silly. When I sing, when I sang your songs, I was happy because it was from you. The more you used the program, the more I loved you. There was a point where I couldn't think of the songs. I could only think of you. That's why I can hardly believe I'm here with you, Master. I resigned myself to only seeing you, and it was a kind of pain. And it was kind of painful to know I wouldn't couldn't be here with you. In that regard, I must be the luckiest Miku in the world to be able to be with the Master I love. You told Miku you are the luckiest guy in the world for being able to have her at your side. Miku sniff, I'm so happy. Then she closes her eyes. That's your cue. Smoochy face. Kiss and hug her like never before. Smoochy face. Smoochy face. You, you two are feeling like one entity. You two feel and think and do the same. Break the kiss and you see beautiful eyes of hers. Master, thanks so much, Master. You asked for what? Ah, for being so patient with me. I think most people would have gave, given up on someone like me. But you're always there for me, and... It seems Miku is flustering and at a loss for words. You told her if anything should be... Um, if anything, you should be thankful she is here. What? what? You told her she is the reason why you aren't lonely anymore, and now you would feel sad without her. So if anything, she decides to be with you it's a reason to be thankful to her and you hope she doesn't leave you alone master i would never leave you we will be together always together forever you got out of work today like usual 
It has been like one year, well, exactly a year today since Miku came to your life. You, uh, So I'm guessing this is like the conclusion, this is the epilogue or whatever. So, alright. Uh, as you kept your work while taking some songwriting lessons on your free time, it's not like you wanted to be a professional or something like that. You only do it because of Miku's suggestion so you can share common interests. While Miku's job is to sing at small concerts which garner attraction because she's a real life Miku. Excited. Today you and Miku will collab celebrate <laughs> collaborate your first year anniversary with a dinner, however, you have a surprise for her. You're going to propose marriage to Miku today. After one year, damn. You move fast. You thought this over carefully, you want Miku to be your wife. You are now on your way to buying the engagement ring and wedding dress. You remember the wedding dress Miku saw on your first date? You've been saving money to buy her the dress. You plan on a small wedding, nothing too fancy, but nothing too cheap either. Surprised. You actually can't believe you're going to ask her hand in marriage. Well, at least you don't have to deal with an unapproving dad. <laughs> you reach the dress store. Well, hello. What are you going to buy today? You told her that you are a customer who has ordered the wedding dress. Oh, it's you. Please wait a little. Here you go. You are going out, but the store clerk calls you. Oh, and good luck, with a grin in her face. Well, you aren't sure if she will accept yet, so you need all the luck you can get. Now you are in the ring shop. This one's quite expensive, but whatever. How can I help you? You asked him for the ring you, um, ordered. Oh, you are the gentleman who ordered the wedding ring. There you go. You are about to get out, but then... Good luck. Another person wishes you luck. Now you feel very confident and hopeful that Miku will accept. Now you are out near home. You are very nervous. You don't know what you would do if Miku doesn't accept your proposal. The night falls, the nightfall curtains the night now. You can't wait any longer. He will propose to her now. Miku is not around. Where could she be? Out of nowhere, Miku hugs you. Master, you came back. I was getting worried. It seems Miku was worried about you. Master, I was very worried about where you were. You told her that you would tell her if she stops hugging you. Huh? Uh, okay. Sorry, Master, it wasn't my intention to startle you. You asked Miku why she is naked. I went to the shower and then I was going to go out to look for you, Master. You apologized to Miku. You are fine, Master, that's all that matters. You asked Miku to change into her clothes. Oh, sorry, Master, I will do so right away. At the moment she enters, you're going to propose to her. You are very nervous. Master, I'm already changed. You ask Miku if she remembers what day it is today. Today? Oh, I totally forgot. Today is the day we celebrate my first birthday. Nod. I forgot it totally. Thanks for reminding me. So are you going to give me a gift, right? This is your chance now. You get on your knees. Master, what are you doing? You take Miku's hand. You told her how much you have enjoyed her company this year, and how much you love her. Master, therefore you want her in your life forever and ever. What is this? You showed her the ring. You asked her if she wants to become your wife. Really? You're not joking, right? You told her you are very serious. Yes, Master, I accept. This is the happiest moment in my life. I can hardly believe it. You then proceed to show her the new dress. But that's the dress I saw on our first date. So this is the occasion that dress is for. Master, I love you. I love you too. You were then engaged with Miku, and today is your wedding. You were asked by Miku to come here. Your wedding is this afternoon. Sure, it's bad luck to see the bride before the wedding, but you won't, you won't let even bad luck 
take you away from Miku. Master, it's her. Hi, you came, I'm glad. You are astonished, she looks gorgeous on her in her dress. Well, it uh, she seems to be at a loss of words. You asked her why she called you here. Well, this will be the last time I will see you as my master. Confused. You don't get it, master? From the wedding dress onwards, you will become someone more than my master. So I wanted to say goodbye to our previous relationship. Before. Somehow you understand what Miku says. You told her you understand. Okay, goodbye, master. Aww. That was cute. Woohoo. I feel like people would have, uh... <laughs> people would have gathered at that kind of a wedding. A real life Miku has a wedding? Who's the guy? Kind of thing. But whatever. That was cute. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the previous one hour long thing. I really didn't expect it to go on for so long. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. That was the second and final part to Miku Visual Novel. Bye!